Hello everyone and welcome to a new hardware unboxing today with something sent to us by a company called Hori. This is the Tactical Assault Commander. It is, as you may see, a sort of uh, FPS oriented keyboard-ish thing and the mouse. Now this is made for PS4 and PS3 but it does also work on PC so I can actually review this thing. According to the letter that was in the box they actually took this apart and updated its firmware to have some better performance so I'll actually look forward to seeing how this thing behaves. It's the first time I'm actually using one of these. I've uh, seen up close a um, what was the uh, Razer Nostromo, no a Belkin Nostromo which was 50% cheaper than the Razer one even though it was the same thing without the logo and uh, yeah, they sort of look interesting like I can see myself using this in MechWarrior Online like you just have the essentials right there maybe some aiming may oh this would be actually good for the command wheel for the oh let's take it apart and see what it is what how it looks like inside oh well okay yeah um before we do that uh on the back actually here's some information about what the uh, thing can do you have quick uh, button response you have buttons oh you can actually set um, uh, DPI things on it. Yeah, DPI shortcuts would probably be fun. Okay, so let's put this aside. Ah, the box. It's a black box. Like, how much more black can you get? And the answer is none. Well, it actually can because this is blacker than the rest of the box. Okay, so let's try to open this up without uh, me breaking it. I believe this is the latch. Yes, this is the latch indeed. Probably see that it's the same camera setup from last time because I haven't changed these. Oh my god. Okay, these things actually come with a lot of instructions. Important instructions, actually. Okay, thing is, because this is made for consoles too, they actually have to explain what WSD does. Which is kind of funny. Uh, it shows you kind of how you can set these up. Um, it, oh yeah. Uh, it shows that camera controls, the, the controls that would normally be bound on the uh, right analog stick are now bound on the mouse. Triggers to... Uh, well, triggers wouldn't, wouldn't work that well actually because uh, mice don't have progressive uh, uh, feedback. Well, most mice don't have progressive feedback on their, uh, on their, on their buttons, but uh, joystick uh, gamepads do. Then we have this thing, which is an evil... Oh my god, this is this is actually quite large. This is quite a large thing too. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a very complex thing. A very complex um, controller. With, this thing has 31 buttons, which is gonna be nice. Well, actually no, no it has, it has 40, 43 buttons. I, I, I misread. Okay, so inside, let's actually put these papers apart so they don't mess up the, uh, the non-existent white balance. Let's take this out. This is the... Well... Did I put it upside down? I think they put it upside down. Yeah, it would be nice if they just showed it like the other way around. This is foam, it's nice and soft and probably will protect this thing. Let's take out the main part. Voila. Probably not gonna plug it in. Okay. Okay, these these feel ooh, okay. I moved that up by mistake. These feel like like standard plunger keys they don't feel uh, like they're mechanical but they, they they're nice like they feel nice they're they're very well put I, I like the way that this this thumbstick just does its job perfectly and uh, oh yeah it has rubber feet that's why it's uh, moving this thing around okay so let's take a look a bit at the um the thing gunner it has uh k80 mode i oh keyboard mode so it's for pc PS3 or PS4, that thing moves, moves kind of hard. And it has um, LS, DP. Oh yeah, you can change. You can change your so you can make these be the D-pad or D or this thing. We can make um, this thing be the left stick or this thing the D-pad. Also has this thing. Oh my god, this thing is actually quite uh, quite complicated. Also because it's compatible with PS4, it, this thing is actually a touchpad. I actually wonder how this thing actually will work on PC. You can even click it. So you have one, two, three, four. Uh, sh this also doubles as a share button. Options, quick tab. Yeah, this thing actually looks quite interesting. I'm not sure uh, exactly how much compatibility is gonna have in PC games, but I look forward to seeing how this thing's gonna work out. It's a very interesting design. It's 
again if you've used these things before you probably know well, how well they work and what they do was expecting this to be a button or something but no it's just a maybe it's an led thing because these things do light up we also have more things on, oh yeah we have four profiles and uh assign and adjust which may allow you to change some settings and one thing to note is that this i believe that this uh oh because again it's uh, compatible with um with playstation this thing actually has a headphone jack so you can uh, insert your headphones in there one thing i'm not sure but does this thing come off like this piece of plastic because this feels this isn't bolted on like it, it juggles it moves around can this be adjusted or removed that's what i'm wondering but we should find this out before the review but i hope to do it without breaking it well there is this thing yeah okay yeah yeah well mystery solved you can extend this the part below if you want to make it longer make it shorter but it does still move around no matter the position it still moves around quite a bit okay now let's take out the mouse as well uh they are letting me keep this by the way so it's okay if i break it i'm guessing okay this is an optical mouse and it's okay let's move this box out of the way because again it ruins the non-existing white balance that i spent no time building up because our camera doesn't really do white balance i tried it didn't it did refused to comply it was quite kind of funny okay in terms of weight this is a bit on the heavy side and uh, design the weights mm, it's oddly a bit oddly designed i'd say the buttons feel okay they're they're mushy but the okay the delimitation between them isn't all that great so yeah and they kind of both push inwards a bit so they're not they're not necessarily the best side buttons i've ever used but there is a, a back and forward uh, dpi switch so that's nice uh, that's probably going to be useful actually in most games and uh, well okay this thing goes um i believe it went all the way to 4000 dpi like i said it's an optical sensor it's actually i'm probably not gonna be using the mouse itself unless well just for testing it first uh i already have the other mice uh, at my disposal the clicking actually feels fine like the clicking has a okay compared to my other mouse which i'm gonna click right down hopefully not uh, stop recording my mistake the clicking feels finer it feels more precise it feels a bit i don't know what switches they're using but i like them like they they're, they feel a bit sleek that's nice I actually see myself playing something like Mickey Mouse Online with this. It would probably be interesting. Uh, though one fire group, fire group two. Could actually put the command wheel on this thing. Maybe. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can actually set this thing to to change the DPI and the, the mouse. That would be amazing. Or I could probably set this to advanced zoom or something. Yeah, that'll probably work. Well, uh, this is the unboxing of the Hori Tactical Assault Commander. It is, it is a very interesting thing to see. It even has a PS Home button, a uh, share button. I'm gonna have a review for this uh, as soon as I can. Again, it's gonna probably take me a while because I'm gonna spend more time testing stuff. Uh, so I'm not gonna have a hardware review every week, but I will do my best to have this out as soon as possible. But uh, li like you've seen in the other unboxing, I have a, a bunch more stuff to to review before this. Uh, it's first come, first serve, sadly. So, uh, well, this is gonna be an interesting thing to review. Like, what should I test this thing with? Well, it will work with most FPS, I'm guessing. It actually would. It will actually work with most games. Game that don't require typing a lot or. Uh, things one thing i'm curious about um are any of this these buttons procedural because okay, this would be the x button r3 r2 no i don't think these are uh, the progressive buttons did i say procedural sorry i meant progressive don't think these are progressive but they uh, they could be 
probably not. Well, that's it. I'm going to be back soon with another hardware unboxing with something else from Hori. So, stay tuned and see you then. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just two dollars and as always if you thought it was horrible you know where to find me and complain about it